Hey everybody, I'm here today to do a book review, one that I actually recorded last week, but I was still having some audio issues, so I decided to redo it now that uh, I had some help from someone who knows computers better than I do. Uh, the book I'm going to be doing today is Graceling by Kristen Kishore. Uh, this is, before I give my review, I, if no one, everyone probably knows this book by now, but just in case, I'm going to go do a quick summary. It's about a, a fantasy medieval type world where um, there are people with special powers called graces, who are known as gracelings, and they're identified because they have eyes that are two different colors. Uh, the protagonist of this book, Katza, is a Graceling, and she is graced with the power to kill people really easily. Uh, she's the nephew, not the nephew, the niece of the king of one of the seven kingdoms that are in this land. They're in the middle kingdom called Midlands, I think. Here's a map at the beginning of the book. And uh, he basically uses her as like a hired thug, except she doesn't really get paid. She's just forced to go on his missions and kill people and hurt people and all that kind of stuff. I had really high expectations before I read this book, which I think kind of hurt things for me. Um, I had read so many good things about it online, so many positive reviews. The, just the summary, the idea, sounded so cool. Uh, I was expecting, like, action-packed adventure, you know, like, a uh, special superpower fighter, this is going to be, you know, extreme and so exciting. And uh, just suffice it to say, I was really sadly let down by the book. Um, it started out really good and it, it hooked me. It was it was an action scene and I was like immediately I wanted to know more about what was going on and I really wanted to get to know Katz better and her power. Uh, then once we got about a quarter of the way through it it just I realized I wasn't liking it and it only got worse from there. Um, to start with probably my main problem is Kristen Kishore's writing, sadly to say. Um, she had a really good idea with this idea of the, you know, the Gracelings and their special powers, which, you know, Katza's is pretty unique because most, some Gracelings have, you know, lame powers like swimming or probably they would have like, you know, really grace cooking and stuff like that. So it's not just all fighters. That was that was really cool, something that I thought was original that I haven't really read about before. But uh, the execution definitely fell flat for me. Uh, her To go back to her actual writing style, I feel that uh, the book needed better editors. I It seemed like when I was reading that the editors were maybe asleep on the job because their the sentence structures were just off stupid errors like comma placements and things like that were really jarring to me there was a lot of repetition and redundancy in her choice of words and phrases and it, it almost read to me like it was in the style for younger readers and uh the content of the book though was definitely more for older readers there were some really more mature scenes um, not not just violence, but, you know, sex, stuff like that. Nothing too graphic, but uh, the style in which it was written and the content of the book were really mismatched, and that was jarring to me. Um, as I was reading, instead of getting sucked into the story, I would just be looking at the actual sentences and paragraphs on the page and noticing stuff like, okay, this doesn't look good here. This sentence should be crossed out. Fix that. Like, where where were the editors for this book is all I want to know. Because I think with some, 
better editing, they could have taken Kishore's idea and it could have been a brilliant book. But it wasn't. Um, my other big problem with the book was the plot. Like I said, after the action-packed beginning, it quickly went downhill. Uh, the middle was a draggy, traveling, nothing much happening, just a lot of conversations between Katza and uh, her friend Poe, who is another Graceling fighter. Uh, and they, you know, Katza, they became friends, and then eventually, obviously, it became a romantic relationship. No big surprise there. But, uh, there was just all of this traveling, and, n you know, there was nothing was happening. It, it just came to a standstill. And then, at the end, uh, <laughs> there's some more traveling. Uh, the villain, who I also think was a really cool idea, I won't spoil it, but, uh, you barely see him. And then, uh, the, the climax was non-existence. It was basically an anti-climax. It was over in the blink of an eye, and then the end of... I thought the very end was good, but, uh, the, everything leading up to it, it, it was just bad. I was cringing at points while reading. At other points, my eyes were just glazed over, and I was just, like, skimming through, really desperately trying to finish the book hoping that it would pick up and we would get, you know, another big action pack climax. <laughs> like I said, it was an anti-climax. <laughs> Boring. Boring. That's my main, uh, my second main problem is with the book is it was boring. Dull as dishwater. <laughs> oh, it is so disappointing because I wanted to love this book so much and I really thought that I was going to love it and uh, that definitely made it even worse than it, it would have been without my expectations sadly um, before I finish I just want to talk really quickly about the characters uh, like I said the main protagonist is Katza she her name kept reminding me of Katniss from the Hunger Games and in truthfully they were very similar in terms of personality like Katniss Katza is a very tough as nails chick on the outside but inside she's actually very weak and vulnerable and actually quite naive uh, um, I, I liked the idea of Katza but I felt like she was poorly written uh, the love interest, Poe, was a really fun character to read about. He was just, you know, a really a great, nice guy, very understanding, but I felt like he was too perfect. He, while Katza was just so flawed in so many ways and had all these issues, Poe was just, he had no real character flaws. Um... And it, it was hard, really, for me to appreciate him as a character because it was basically like he was just the knight in shining armor and the perfect compliment who could handle Katza in any way and would just, you know, support her and do whatever she wanted. Um, so that was Paul. There's also the other big character is Bitter Blue, who is a 10-year-old princess. And she's also Poe's cousin. I don't want to reveal too much about her backstory. She was a very, very mature beyond her years young girl. She spoke definitely not like she was 10 years old. And she was like more mature than Katza even. And I, I, she, not really realistic. And in a way, she wasn't meant to be realistic because, you know, her situation made her the way that she was but I don't know the combination of all the characters the, the bare bones the concept that Kishore had I admired but it, it didn't work for me it fell flat my my really really high expectations ruined things even more for me so uh, in the end 
big disappointment, and I have to give Graceling only.